Hi there. My name is Dalton Rohr. I'm a senior solutions architect here at Click. I can tell you over the years as I've talked with prospects and customers, there's always one question I get. Tell us what's in the box. We think of these parameters of what function software provides as being what that application is. ClickSense is so much more than what you see in the box. I'm using air quotes as though you can see those things. It's foundationally built on an open API. You can extend ClickSense and use it any way you'd like. You can embed Click and use it any way you would like. Today we're going to be looking at these APIs because I imagine as you're moving to a SaaS tenant, if you have been using the APIs, you might worry, oh no, oh no, we can't get there now. You know, we relied on all of this data that we used that we were collecting for other DevOps features or for other applications. Instead of just doing easy mashups, maybe you were calling our APIs and using a completely different visualization library for it. So I want to assure you, you're still covered. Now, we have a site called developer.click.com, and this is where you can really foster your knowledge of these things. If you weren't aware of it, I'm going to walk you through. In my other video, I'm going to show you about mashups. We'll be diving into the garden, but today we're going to focus on these APIs. So I'm going to just immediately go to APIs, and you'll notice Click Sense SaaS Editions. Yes, 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 you're still covered for this and you would be able to walk through here and see any of the types of API calls that we have that you can use um, based on different things. So also in Click Help you would be able to find this information. Notice here that there's APIs for ClickSense Enterprise but there are also APIs for the Cloud Editions SaaS so if we were to look at one, uh, you can see here we could ask for information about an app, a, a specific app, and get information about that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move this back here. If I go to my SaaS tenant, right, and you would obviously be using your SaaS tenant, all you have to use is this API slash V1 and I can look at in this case I'm asking for items. I can also it, take a specific app, pass the ID, and that IDs, all of these things are coming back as part of the items. I can ask for a specific app like the App Analyzer that provides a comprehensive dashboard to analyze application metadata across the ClickSense tenant. What? Oh my gosh, you didn't even know that we had an application analyzer for SaaS. Well, we're going to get into that. Uh, what's neat about this is I can also use these APIs. If And obviously these I'm logged in. Um, I can ask for more detail about that specific app. And it's going to go through and give me all kinds of data about that app. I'm going to go ahead and magnify the screen here so we can see this. I've asked for the metadata about that app. So I'm getting data about every single field that is in this um, app. I can also ask for the thumbnail as part of the API. So let me shrink that guy back up. I'm going to come back here and we're going to go ahead and expand this. Um, so one of the simple ways, short of, you know, just using it in a command line to get little nips and chunks here and there, I'm going to show you this app analyzer. And this is available right out on Click Community. If you just look for app analyzer for SASH, you're going to find this. And it's going to show you what it can do. And you will be able to see a video and you'll also be able to download the app and an install guide. Now I'm going to walk you through what you would need in that app. So in this app, this thing will go read all of the data from my SAS tenant about all of my applications, how much memory they use, how many fields they have, and so here I can see all kinds of variations 
on the SAP solution accelerators that we've been building, I can see apps like the one I'm going to demonstrate in my SAS um, extensions video. <laughs> Um, and we can see, oh man, I've got 2,300,000 records in that thing, and I can see how much memory these things take, I can see the peak load, um, the normal load, I can see record counts, etc., etc., etc. Well, I know what you want to do. You want to take a look at how we would actually load that data. So, I'm going to go into the data load editor. And what this requires is you will see if you look at this thing on click community there's an install guide and it's going to tell you exactly how to do exactly what I'm showing you now you need to make sure that you've got this connector created this is rest app for app analyzer that thing is going to require you to put in uh, a specific URL to get started hey that's what I just showed you right at the command line Man, that's right, because we can use the REST API connector in ClickSense to talk to the REST API for ClickSense. Oh, you got to admire that. Come on. What it's going to ask you for authentication is an authorization parameter. So you have to put a query header in there. If you use Postman or deal with APIs, um, you're, you're familiar with that. And you're going to need to use Bearer. And then there's some keys here. I'm not going to show you what all of these letters are, but I'm going to show you where they would come from. If you watch my first SAS enablement video, you'll know that we have the ability from the hub to just switch right over to the management console, and that's where we're going to go first here. If I create an API key, as I showed you how to do in the first video, there's a time frame on those things. Well, maybe we want to change that first, and we're going to come to settings and I think I showed you some of these parameters I've got a limit here of 360 days well maybe when I create this like is shown in the documentation for the app analyzer you might want to change that parameter and extend how long those tokens are good for but you don't necessarily have to if you want to worry that the app stops working you can leave it set for a month if you're just trialing things um, you can leave it set at where, where it was before the year but I'm gonna go ahead and change that to be 990 day, nine days what I would do to actually create the API key is I'm gonna go to my profile settings that's where I generate the API keys from now you'll notice I've already created an API key here and if I look at that, oh shoot, I have no idea what that real API key was because if you remember, when you generate a new key, I'm just going to create a dummy one here. We're going to say that this is for my video. It gives you a gigantic key and that is what you need to copy, save somewhere, and when you're in the application, you are going to paste that whole key here as your bearer token once you paste that in there you would simply test the connection save that and then you are able to run this application and load all of the data now I'm going to go ahead and let this thing run and you'll notice it's now talking to the REST API for my SAS tenant and pulling all of the information I need back so that I can have that pretty visual that you saw to begin with. If I were to walk through some of this code, you'll see this is very simple. It's HTTPS with the parameter for my SAS tenant. Ooh, there's that API v1, and yes, one of the things I can call and ask for is the quotas. So what this application is doing is actually providing a really nice wrapper with a bunch of coding, but it's still just talking to the SAS tenant through the REST API, and then it passes this tenant, but a different um, REST API call. So this one's asking for quotas. If I were to scroll over here, you'll notice same exact thing, API, V1, but it's asking for spaces. 
and if I keep rolling through here now I'm going to go get a list of all of the apps and it's calling API v1 hey items ooh we saw that ooh I can ask for the app metadata for each app by passing that which is what you saw as well so I hope you enjoy this. If you weren't aware that there is an app analyzer for your SaaS tenant, I wanted to make sure you're aware. Again, just search right and click community. You're going to find that. You could download the app. And now you know how to go into the management council um, and update the number of days that you may need to have for your token. And you know how to go to your profile setting to actually generate your API key to use. Obviously, that same um, API key is what you would want to generate if you're actually building apps that use the API to pull that data. How fun is it knowing that ClickSense really has no box? The only box is that with which you set your own imagination. Have a great day, y'all.